Spielberg. Uh, I made it to Gorkovska uh, at the station. Suddenly it became quite chilly in St. Petersburg. I was supposed to be meeting Stanislo in a uh, local cafe. Hello. <laughs> Back in St. Petersburg, and we are going back to the uh, awesome vintage market of Udelnaya to find some treasures, maybe more film cameras. We found it. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We need. We need. У меня была другая, у меня была спортивная, мне да из, Казахстана, семьи, из, из, из Казахстана бабушка прислала. А это для капусты? Серьезно? Да, вот так вот. Должна еще миска специальная. Будешь плясать? Нет, ты наоборот будешь привлекать внимание. Смотри, причем такой он как Алладин. Да, да. Это комикс? Да, он современный. Я даже не знал, что они существуют. Я тоже не знал. Крутой, да? Расскажу вам историю про бандитов. Сколько? Я сейчас скажу. А не будете продавать? Всех не будете продавать? Ну что, за 10 рублей? Weather is significant better this time and they have much more random crap. <laughs> like it's literally put on the ground and you can find all sort of stuff, literally all sort of stuff for quite accessible prices. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Wedding. Oh wow. That's my mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, the bride is beautiful. Oh, For 150. Нормально? Нормально. Ну, за 200 он продавал. Смотри, Миша, я за 200 он вам продавал? Да. да? Ну вот, я за 150 купил. Ну, 3. Самый крутой, это, конечно, вот этот. Это самый первый mm. значок на погоди из серии значков ну погоди металлических. Вот, и Бонифаци, мне кажется, очень классно. Положена красочка по контуру. 
帰ってるよ。待てって言ってた。ええ、ちょっと弱い。いや、もう、ずっと、ブラウス、ちょっと弱い。We are slowly making our way out of this madness of stuff. It's like so much more stuff this time.、Uh, but yeah, we already spent a significant amount of money. We are officially done, spent most of our money, now looking for some breakfast. Kot s r u j i y o m Kot sapaga. Так, давай попробуем. Что у меня тут осталось? Тут осталось. Миша, quick quick review of the place. Strange place, Strange very place. good food. <laughs> Там встроен по центру э, это церквушка, по краям два магазина и это все огромный комплекс жилой комплекс. Ты можешь спуститься и еще помолиться. Люди вот просто живут за сеткой такой зеленой. Еще, смотри, можно еще вот так. Можно вот так. It is raining outside. It's pretty heavy rain and it's cold. So we, I'm going to instead of going out, I'm going to do a very brief review of all sort of things we found today on the market. We found this exponometer today in market, and it looks. Quite different from all the exponometers I've had so far, and、uh, it also works. It seems to work differently. So you have this front panel which receives light, and then you have you have to open this back, and then once you point it at light, you should be able to see some readings inside, and the readings sort of change depending on how how strong the light is. Looks pretty awesome anyway, and there's a box and everything. Got it quite cheaply as well. Uh, this camera, I mean, strictly speaking, nothing special about it. But th this kind of camera was my very first camera, like ever,、um, my own camera. I actually saved some money and bought one. It's super simple. It's literally just one button. To take pictures, and that's it. You can open it and close with this slider, and there is a section where you can put batteries in it, and then it just works. It's, it's literally like super simple soft box camera, and using the 35 mm film. And the thing is, there is already film in it, and it might or might not be already expired. We'll see about that. <laughs> We also got this Fed 5V 
which is uh, Cyrillic V, not 5V. Uh, so f this is fifth generation, although I'm c quite confused, but uh, I think it's fifth model of this FED uh, rangefinder. So this is a rangefinder, which is originally a Leica clone with version 1, but then they sort of evolved it quite a bit, and now it kind of looks sort of a something quite different from Leica. Uh, maybe the rewinder lever, maybe this looks a little bit like Leica, but nothing else, I guess. Maybe this one, uh, the viewfinder a little bit. So this is kind of a classic uh, rangefinder, uh, relatively simple, 100% manual. You have to set all the settings yourself. The lens is 53 mil, and it is removable, and potentially you can probably set different lenses here as well. Uh, yeah, so it's all in working condition, and uh, actually, like we've seen quite a lot of fans on the market, and this one looks probably the best of all of them. Um, yeah, so uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there is a shutter speed over there, so you you rewind it, and well, then you can set a shutter speed. Quite a uh, normal thing with like FETs and XOR keys. You have to rewind it first, and then you can set the shutter speed, let's say to 250, and then you can take pictures. But yeah. There's also a slight possibility we won't be able to fit everything into our luggage, so I suppose it's better to film everything we found so far in case we have to leave something behind. Thank you.